Question number six, Jamie Green. Thank you. To ask the First Minister what the Scottish Government is doing to reduce deaths in custody, including suicides, in light of reports of a 60 per cent year-on-year increase. First Minister. Uh, first and foremost, my thoughts are with everyone who has lost a loved one in prison custody. Uh, the safety and well-being of those in prison is a priority, and we recognise uh, that we need to do more to support positive health outcomes for vulnerable people in prisons. The Prison Health and Social Care Needs Assessment, which we published last month and work undertaken in response to the Independent Death and Custody Review, are key steps in our commitment to achieving this. All frontline staff are trained in the SPS Prevention of Suicide Strategy, which provides a person-centred care pathway for those at risk of suicide and promotes a supportive environment where people can ask for help. Individuals are screened upon arrival at prison and, when needed, the SPS and the NHS work together to support the individual uh, and review them regularly. Jamie Green. Uh, the First Minister is right. We do need to do more because in my hand is a one-page roll call and it's a tragic one-page piece of paper because it lists every single death in prison last year, their name, their age and their cause of death. And I won't name the names on this list out of respect for the families involved and the risk of re-traumatisation but they shouldn't be forgotten. HMP Adiwell, a 26-year-old man, took his own life nine months into his sentence. HMP Kilmarnock, a 29-year-old man, four months into his sentence, found hanging. HMP Greenock, a 27-year-old man, found hanging 15 months into his sentence. And HMP Polmont, a 20-year-old man, also found dead. He wasn't even convicted. He was on remand. And these are just the tragic suicides in prisons. Where do I start with the overdoses, First Minister? It is a lamb. Opioid overdoses, multi-drug intoxication are killing people in our prisons on a weekly basis. 53 of them on this list last year alone. Ten years ago, there were 21 names on this list. That's still too many, but it's doubled in 10 years. I only want to ask this to the First Minister, why are so many people still taking their lives in custody? And despite years of promises to get a grip on this, why are so many drugs still getting into our prisons and killing people? Because I warn, this has to stop, or next year this list will be two pages long, and the year after that it will be three pages long. When will this end, First Minister? First Minister, first day, every Every death from suicide is a tragedy, no matter uh, where that takes place, which is why this is not specifically about prisons, but it's why the Scottish Government and COSLA new suicide prevention strategy that was launched last week is so important. Clearly, there are particular issues in prisons, which is why the work that I set out in my original answer is so important. Uh, the prevention of suicide in prison strategy aims to care for those at risk of suicide uh, by providing a specific pathway based on an individual's specific needs. And, of course, uh, there should always be the promotion of a supportive environment where people in custody are able to ask for help. So we will continue to take forward all of that work. Uh, finally, this is also one of the reasons, not the only reason, but one of the many reasons uh, why this government has made it a priority to try to reduce the number of people, particularly the number of vulnerable people who are in our prisons in the first place uh, by reducing short-term sentences, for example, by increasing community rehabilitation uh, options. And often the Conservatives come here and oppose all of these things. So can I say, in the interest, in the interest of consensus, that as we take forward this important debate. We do that in the context uh, of a proper debate about criminal justice uh, in the whole, uh, because we do send too many people in the first place in Scotland to prison, and we need to tackle that, as well as making sure we tackle the conditions inside our prisons. 